Hey everybody, welcome to Bend with Brie. Today we're gonna do a 10 minute middle split stretch. So these are some exercises I do every day to get my middle splits. We're gonna start in butterfly with your hands on your knees taking twists side to side to warm up here. This feels good on your upper back, hips, inner thighs. Now go ahead and make a wide diamond and do waves with your spine up and down. When you get to the third wave, you're going to hold with your head reaching your toes. You want to think of folding from the hips, not the back. If you want a little bonus stretch here, you can clasp your hands behind your back for a little shoulder rinse. Now go ahead and take easy pose here, but you're going to bring your right foot in front of you to about the center of your chest and walk your hands forward. You can stay upright on your elbows or walk yourself all the way forward as I'm showing here. This will again start to warm up into your hip here. I would recommend doing something to warm up prior to this flow. I'll go ahead and switch sides, whether that's a hot bath or a workout or another yoga flow. And take the same option as before. You wanna balance both sides. So either on your hands straight up on your elbows or walk yourself forward. And remember, none of these stretches are about how far you go. It's about good form and progress. You're gonna extend your feet in front of you in a really narrow straddle, and you're gonna run your hands up and down your legs, and as you do that, you're gonna fold from your hips. On the third time, you're gonna fold forward. Go ahead and rock side to side here, just getting into some different muscles, loosening up. Go ahead and sit up, and you're gonna make your straddle a little bit wider now. We're gonna do the same thing. Hands up and down the legs, and you're gonna fold from your hips. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult this time folding from your hips and require some core strength to pull yourself back up. On that third time, go ahead and hold forward and just rock side to side. Again, just getting some different angles. And then when you're ready, go ahead and fold forward and hold the stretch. Again, if your spine is starting to round a lot, it's better to come up a little bit and have good form. Now take your widest straddle here. Just take one moment to get yourself comfortable, situated. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go side to side, running your hand down your left leg, then your right leg, your left leg, right leg, left leg. When you get to your left side now, you're going to come onto your elbows and just hold. Then go ahead and walk yourself to the right on your elbows on the right side. In just a moment, we're going to go side to side here. So walk your hands to the left to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, taking some active stretching, warming up, to the right, and then come to center, holding your deepest straddle with good form. If you wanna get a little bit into the triceps as a little bonus, you can clasp your hands together and place them on your head. Then go ahead and sit straight up, hands back, shake your legs out a little bit, give yourself a hug. Then come onto all fours for just a second here. Arch your back, round, drop under elbows. And then what you're going to do is you're going to let your knees slide to the side. You're going to keep your toes towards each other. And you're going to come into a frog's pose here with your feet together. Staying on my elbows, you can stay on your hands or all the way down on your belly, as I now decided to do. Another way to get deeper into frog's pose is to tuck and tilt your tailbone. So if you find yourself like an inch from the floor, that's a really good option. Then you're going to widen your feet, 
So your ankles are in lines with your knees. You can lift yourself to check as I did, and then I'm going to come down onto my belly, but the option to go onto your elbows or hands. Once you're ready, push up onto your hands. This is going to be a deeper version of frog, and you're going to make spinal waves. So down, up, down, up. Down onto your elbows, and you're going to extend one leg into a half middle split, half frog. This will definitely feel deeper. Now switch sides. Perfect. Push yourself out of that. Just take a moment to rest on your belly before pushing back up here into a quick child's pose. Now come on to seated. Give yourself a quick hug here, neutralizing everything after all that stretching. Shake your feet side to side. Then we're gonna come back into those straddles. So really narrow straddle, slide your hands forward, take your deepest hold, toes pointed. Now widen it a little bit more, slide forward, deepest hold in this straddle, toes pointed. Now your deepest straddle, walk yourself forward or slide yourself forward and take your deepest straddle hold here. Again, toes pointed. Now you're gonna do, come onto your elbows and you're going to roll forward slightly until you come into a full middle split here. You can stay up on your elbows, go all the way down. Don't worry if you didn't get fully into your middle split, keep practicing and you will get there. Try to breathe. Something that helps me when I'm doing really deep stretches, never push past to the point of pain, but if you're uncomfortable, count your breaths. Go ahead and bring your feet together in that frog pose. So the four count is what helps me. Four counts in, hold for four counts, out for four counts, and hold for four counts. Box breathing. Now from your frog's pose, try and extend your legs back into a middle split. That's not in your practice, no problem. Just hold your frog and go onto your hands. Now, if you did the middle split, go back into frog with your feet together. Breathing. And slide into that middle split one more time. You can see this was a little bit difficult for me the second time. It's a pretty deep stretch. Just in your middle split, roll forward and back a couple times, just changing the angle and the stretch in your hips and inner thighs before pushing yourself back up, legs together. You may need to help it out with your hands. Give yourself that hug. You're doing great. So go ahead and roll into your back here. We're going to come into a funky little stretch. Your feet are going to be slightly wide planted on your mat. You're gonna drop your knees to one side. The foot in the back, you're going to, if you can, bring your heel towards your glute for a deeper quad stretch and extend the opposite leg. So I'm showing it on screen here. The extension of the leg is optional. If you chose that variation, bring your foot back in, feet to center. You can bring your knees together for a second to neutralize your lower back. Now drop your feet to the other side. You can see it better here. I'm tucking my heel into my glute and extending my opposite leg.
this feels a little weird too at first. Just keep practicing it. It's a little bit of a funky one, but I find it gets really deep into my inner thighs and my quad, and you also get like the feel-good benefit of the twist, especially if you've been training your core. Bring your feet back to center and drop your knees together. And roll yourself back up here. Round your spine out with your feet planted. Arch, round, take a circle in one direction, then the other direction. Then what we're gonna do is roll forward into your wide leg forward fold on your elbows or your hands. Rock backward and forward a couple times. Just getting comfortable here. Then we're going to slide into our middle splits. This one is still weird for me. This is probably the most recent stretch I was able to acquire. So no problem if you can't get there. If you can't get all the way down, no problem at all. Just hold yourself up on your hands or your elbows. It is harder when you don't have it fully to the ground because you have to hold yourself up and gravity is working against you. So just know it actually gets easier when you get into your middle splits. So slide your legs back, bring them together, push back to seated. Awesome job, guys. Keep at it. Keep practicing and you will get there. Have a great day.